Good morning, morning everyone. I'm joined with my mother. I am MUA this morning. I'm doing my mum's glam. Just finished saffrons and now yeah. she's doing mine. <laughs> no, she, my mum did not do my makeup for anyone thinks that she did do my makeup. I had a very, very early start this morning. So did I. Um, I had, Holly did my makeup, she's actually never done my makeup before and she absolutely smashed it. And Jack did my hair. Jack used to do my hair years ago, didn't he? Yeah. Like for every shoot I ever you did. So it's really Jack nice to see him, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, and then I was I work with different brands and they would like hire people on shoots and stuff so I literally haven't used them in the longest time but yeah it's sound really different today so I actually love it I don't know if it suits me but I love it so it much does. anyways I'm doing mum's glam keep herself out with the red lip and I'm like no keep the red lip it's different it's okay good. we're trying to and keep I the red lip I'm wearing all black as well so that's why feature. You, is that you're thinking keeping the under eye yes. feature is that what it is the feature the camera's not focusing very well okay, but I am doing yes my mum's makeup so it's not going to quite live up to Holly's but she shall try click your fingers three two one gorgeous look at her go I mean she hasn't got lashes on yet definitely needs to get some lashes on but you look stunning thanks it's stunning, Mum. <laughs> so basically, Mum and I's plan for today is we're actually going to an award oh, ceremony. It's the Sun Who Cares Wins Awards. So it's for the NHS, which would be lovely. So yeah, we're going there. It's quite nice actually because my mum has come to so many events with me, but in the longest time she hasn't come to like a red carpet. And also, I don't actually think you've ever come to an award Never thing with me. Never come to like a meal. I normally come no. to standing around things. Yeah, normally Mum comes to the more like boring events. Not no, gonna I lie. Don't think one. No, like they're still fun, yeah. But like these are really special this events, nice, it's obviously. Like, yeah, this is lovely. Yeah, yeah so it's such a special event. It's mm. going to be so special nice. You get like a three course meal. It's lovely. What's that? The tissues. Oh, what, in case you cry. <laughs> well, this hotel that we're staying in is actually stunning. I've never stayed here before, but it's just really near the venue. So I booked it and it's so gorgeous. Oh my God, the Christmas tree in the lobby just makes me so excited to put my Christmas tree up. It's crazy. So the event's at three o'clock, but we actually have to check out at one. So mum and I are like, what are we going to do in ball gowns and full faces of makeup? We're literally just, just going to sit in the lobby. Yeah, to be fair, it's actually not a ball gown. Imagine if I was sat in the wedding it's dress. Imagine glittery. if I was sat in what I wore in Pride of Britain. Yeah. Oh my god, it looked like I got set up on my wedding day. Thank god that I'm not wearing that. Yeah, to be fair, my dress is like pretty basic, but I love it, so. It's not a ball gown, it's fine. Anyways, we're going for breakfast. I'm bloody starving. Oh, also guys, how do we feel about red lip? Because I just can't work out. Yes, it's a yes. Especially I don't know if it suits me. I love it on everyone else, but. It does suit you. Oh my goodness, it's stunning. Christmas separations. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Me? No, not with you. <laughs> and you, and you. Guys, seriously, look how stunning. Oh my goodness. I mean, I have a fire at my house, but this length that like this sort of fire where you can pin this up, it's just so gorgeous. And then the Christmas tree is huge and also incredible. You're enjoying your spicy nut mix, are you? So mum and I are having a drink, cheers. Can I just say something? I mean, we're probably gonna be late now, but we've never, ever, ever had time to spare before getting ready for an event in our whole life. Have we? So long. So did long, a to the point where we did do a TikTok and my corset has been Like you know when a corset bends where you sit down so much This vodka that I've got is actually kind of going to my head a little bit But it's quite nice that we're actually having a little drink together, aren't we? Yes. We're living in the present Anyways, we're very excited for this event Oh, there were these ladies and they were so lovely oh And they didn't stop saying how beautiful we were and they, we're, we're both feeling a bit like We were both a bit like mm, I don't know we look alright, yeah I don't know yeah. about this dress, I don't know about this It's yeah. a bit weird <laughs> We walked in and like Then we sort of sat at the bar and then they were like, well, the guy that works here was like, the ladies like to know where exactly you're going and like what time you're going because they just think you look stunning. You're like, oh my it was God, so sweet. So and then they brought their other friend over and they made us stand up yeah. so they could have a it's look at around. us. It was so cute. It was so cute. Aww. Anyways, we met some lovely people today. Apart from the guy that was not feeling the um, TikTok in the lift. No. He was very offended by the fact we did Literally a TikTok in the lift. Like, not even 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Mum hasn't stopped singing the song sings. I don't know. And you know it's Mum's idea. She went, why don't we do the gotta carry in a hurry? <laughs> I did a smoothie down the wall though, didn't I? Which I didn't do in the actual thing, but you I didn't. think it's funny. Basically go watch the TikTok. Are you ready for the event? Um, well yeah, because I'm sitting in the taxi and I'm all done up. It's <laughs> What she didn't tell you earlier is when we got out of the taxi, had a lovely taxi ride that we had. When we got out, he, he thanked us for making an effort to <laughs> We had our face and our hair and that our face makeup done. We had tracks, it's only went out. Well done, guys. Thanks for making an effort. That's all right. That wasn't for you. That's fine. It was so funny. And then he went, I would tell my, I would tell my wife that no, there was 
I tell my girlfriend because she tipped him and she tipped him and he's like oh I'll tell my girlfriend he said I won't say that you're two, you're two gorgeous girls I'll tell him you're like, two mingers in a taxi they're two fat mingers <laughs> Oh my god, that's a bit personal. <laughs> I know, because at first he went, I'll oh, say so there's two mingers, and I went, ah. then and then he laughed, and then he went, I'll oh, say so there's two fat mingers, and I went, now that's a bit personal. <laughs> I watch your daily struggles, and I know you try to hide it from me, but I see your pain. You've never given up, continue to be the warrior that you are. Last but not least, I would like to thank all of the young carers worldwide. Keep going, I believe in you all. Thank you, everyone. Okay everyone, I am back from the gym. I actually did a very good workout this morning. Reached some new PBs, some new goals, feeling great. I am having a late start to breakfast. I'm having my absolute favorite, which is crumpets and peanut butter. I feel like I switch up my breakfast all the time now. Actually, between like three different things. I either have my protein porridge, I either have crumpets and peanut butter. If not, I'm having one of these for lunch, by the way. I basically eat the same thing every day. And then another thing that I love is just scrambled eggs on like, you know those thins? They are so good. But I wanted to actually talk about the amazing deal that Bulk's actually having right now, because as you guys know, this is my favorite peanut butter in the entire world like I promise you I've tried so many peanut butters and there's not a single one that is better than this I swear to you it is the absolute best it is so crunchy you don't know when peanut butter is like okay I'm really going on about this but I just I can't tell you how much I love this peanut butter like it's creamy but it's not too creamy that it's like drying I hate when peanut butter is like tastes so dry it just like sticks to your teeth it's not the one for me this is the absolute best and right now Bulk are actually having their biggest sale up to 80% off which is nuts but for today only there's actually buy one get one free on all of their nut butters not only do i have the peanut butter one i also have oh look guys i have so much so that i never ever ever run out look here's another opened crunchy peanut butter but i'm sure i have in here let's have run out i actually don't look guys i stock up on this because when my mum comes over as well she eats it i mean i, I definitely don't eat three big big ones to myself. I do have almond butter, but I must have run out. Um, that almond butter as well is also like chef's kiss. It is so bloody good. So go and get yourself some of this. Buy one, get one free. It is honestly insane. Also, the sale is insane, so you should go and check it out. And some of my favorite products, I thought I would just get out to show you guys like some recommendations. These egg whites, again, I pretty much use them every single day. It makes life so much easier. I really try and have like a high protein diet. And as you guys know, egg whites are super high protein in barely any calories as well. If you are kind of watching your calories and stuff, there's 33 egg whites in this, which is insane. Again, I'm not, I don't even need to show you. You guys believe me. I have like six bottles of those in the fridge because I do actually go through them quite quickly considering it is part of my everyday diet. And then a few other things that they've got in the sale, like clear all in one. I love, love, love this. Obviously protein powders. I use protein powder nearly every day as well. Like if I'm having chocolate porridge, shakes, whatever. I love the original chocolate flavor. My absolute favorite of all time is the chocolate caramel and also chocolate cookies is so good. If you couldn't tell, you're probably getting the sense I have the biggest sweet tooth ever. I feel like everyone knows that anyways. Creatine I use every day, BCAA, also their vitamins as well. So go and check out the sale. I will leave it down below. Most importantly, go get this deal because you will thank me after. Anyways, I'm actually going to have my peanut butter crumpet because it looks really bloody good and it smells really bloody good. Oh my god, yum. I just had the best parcel arrive. Guess what it is? Can we get a drum roll, please? I can't even drum roll, I have no hands. My Christmas tree just arrived. I'm so excited. One of two Christmas trees. I was actually gonna have three Christmas trees because I was like, I'm gonna turn my house into Santa's grotto. There's, I mean, I probably could find somewhere to put a third Christmas tree, but I'm not gonna do that. But I am gonna have a Christmas tree in the hallway up here. It's really hard to show this part of my house because I don't want to show where I live, but um, it's going to be a 10 foot Christmas tree, which is nuts. Like I am, I'm so excited, I actually can't believe it. Because I have like a lot of vaulted ceilings and stuff in my house, I'm able to have higher Christmas trees. So I actually feel like I've got the perfect house 
for a Christmas tree. The one down here is gonna be seven foot, and then, yeah, the one upstairs is gonna be 10 feet tall. So it's gonna take bloody forever, but it's gonna be so worth it. I actually cannot wait. Also, just wanted to address the fact that just having one of those days today, I wiped off all my makeup and redid it all again for it to look exactly the same. You know, when you're just looking at yourself and you're like, no, just not feeling it, that was me. Do you know what? Recently, I've had more comments than ever saying how amazing I've been looking and it genuinely is the sweetest thing in the whole world. I can't actually even tell you how much it means to me and it's crazy because I've not been feeling like that at all. Everyone keeps telling me I'm having this glow up and I don't feel like I'm having this glow up but all of your comments are going a long way. They genuinely do mean a lot to me. Yeah, anyway, so I wiped up all my makeup. I've redone it again for it to really not look much different. It does look better. My brows look better but I tell you what, they do need some love. This brow I'm really vibing with. It's really got that arch thing going on. This one is definitely a sister and not a twin. It needs to like scoop a little bit. But anyways, yes, I'm gonna go and buy my Christmas decorations with my mum. I've actually had a few different ideas when it comes to the tree. Obviously, this is my first ever Christmas tree, guys. This is so exciting. My mum is like the queen of Christmas trees. Like everyone says, no one does a tree better than Wendy Barker herself. Like it always looks absolutely incredible. The amount of hours and time that she dedicates towards that tree is just sensational. And obviously like you have it, you still have the tree out for such a long time. So it is like a really important thing. So I was gonna do one gold and one red. I personally actually don't like trees that are like super mix and match. But then mum and I came up with the idea of actually doing a colourful tree, which is what I think I'm going to do because we saw these decorations the other day and they are honestly stunning, stunning and so cool. The only colourful tree that I've ever like really loved was actually Mitchell's, which I'll pop a picture up. I mean, this is a bit too wild for me, but I just, I think I loved it because it's like colourful, but it's hastily sort of colours, if that makes sense. Um, so I think that's the vibe that I'm going to go for down here, but on a way smaller scale, like it's not going to be as crazy as this. And then upstairs, I still don't know if I'm doing gold. I don't know if I'm doing gold or I don't know if I'm going to do red and white. I really want to do red and white. Basically, I bought red decorations and they're so nice. And I bought gold decorations that are so nice. So upstairs, I don't know what I'm doing, but gold and red together, no. So <laughs> I probably should have just stuck with the gold and red. But then mum threw in the idea of this colorful tree, thought it'd make my house look really cool and I trust her. I trust her a lot when it comes to my tree, way more than I trust myself. Anyways, who knows? I'm gonna go pick up mum. We're gonna go do some Christmas shopping, which I can't bloody wait for. And then yeah, put on my Christmas tree. <laughs> I can't wait, I'm so excited. A few days with my mumsy will be nice because I actually don't see her anywhere near as much now I've moved out. Not even just the fact that I've moved out, I think just, you know, where I've got older, it always happens. I saw this post the other day. It's about like who you spend the most time with in your life. And it's crazy how you really do like not see your parents anywhere near as much. And they were it was basically saying in this post how important it is to choose the perfect partner because that's actually who you spend most of your life with. More than your parents. You spend 20 years with your parents, but then you spend, I don't know, 50 years or whatever with your partner. Although your parents are always gonna be there. But I remember seeing it and I was like, oh my God, that's made me really emotional. Um, and today's a really special day because we're putting up the Christmas tree, so. Let's go. Wendy's not gonna be happy, I'm late. I always tell her I'm gonna pick her up at a certain time and I'm always bloody late. But at least she can expect it now, you know? God, it's very zoomed in. Look a bit happier. <laughs> Mum is so excited for the tree shop. I am so excited for the tree shop. <laughs> First stop is Next. The colorful baubles, are they from Next? There was some in here and there was some in Marks and Spencers. Right, okay. But I mean, there's, I don't know, there's enough for a whole tree. Unless you yeah, this the is the one. thing. I'm actually gonna have to like I get the whole go, one and two. The, the range or whatever it's called. Yeah, maybe. One. I'm just really scared about this colourful tree. I think it can go either way. Guys, look how cute these are. I mean, they are expensive. They're five pounds each, but they are so cute. This is the sort of vibe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like each individual ball is going to be colourful. That makes sense. It's going to have some colourfulness in it. So I'm loving these. I think I might add to the basket. Oh my goodness, look how nice this is. Mum thinks I should put this on the top of my tree. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it on the top of my tree. To be honest, I don't even like a star on the top of the tree. Kind of like just having nothing on the top. But I do think that is really cute. Yeah, that is that why we've never had. My ceilings are taller now, so I might 
like a little star or something put on top. <laughs> they think because we've never a, had something on the top. I like I've angel. just never really liked it. In my box of decorators, I have an angel. And I no, we did angel. once have an angel, but it just got a bit squashed. Yeah, I don't want it. I oh, want an angel. I liked the angel. Don't be so rude I'm towards the, the angel. angel in my house. <laughs> All right. So my mum saw these cushions the other day and she sent me a picture and I wanted them so bad. And she was going to get them for me, but I didn't reply quick enough that I wanted them. So she didn't get them. So we've come in and they literally have two left. I'm so excited for these. They're going to go on my sofa. They look so cute. So when I was in America recently, I was freaking out about the fact that I was in a bath body works because I haven't been in years. And my mum was like, stuff, we literally have them in the UK now. Guys, look at this bath body works. How crazy that we literally have this in the UK. Their stuff is the best smelling stuff ever. This smells absolutely oh, divine. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, look, this is nice. <gasps> no, but this is actually perfect for the tree. Yeah, that might, well, oh, I don't know. That might look a bit tacky, I reckon. I think that would look tacky. Yeah, if it was that way, maybe, but even still. I love this. Oh, look, they have it in silver too. Oh no, it's a cat. Oh, I thought it's a cat. It's not really giving the same vibe, I don't think. Mum thinks I should get the aubergine. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't even know how you pronounce it. Oh my God, imagine me getting this and putting it on my tree. That's hilarious. That is exactly what I don't want it to look like, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, look, this one's actually so cool, this shoe. If I was a little girl, Mum, I would have begged you to put this on the tree. Dairy Dunkers were literally like our childhood. Like this reminds me of my childhood. This is actually so funny that they have a Christmas tree decoration for it. I'm gonna have to do a massive pull once I get home because honestly, it's getting it's getting a lot right now, but it's being success. How nice is this candle holder? Oh my god, love. Oh my goodness, talk about a full car. It looks more full as well because the cardboard, but I've even got bags by my feet. I mean, I got like all my wrap and paper and stuff that I needed for Christmas presents tags, things like that. So Mark it's been really Spencer's. productive. Mars Spencer's good, had, a, well, actually, yeah, Mars Spencer's were good. Oh, Next was better. No, that was Paper Chase. Oh, Paper Chase. Paper Chase was, Paper Chase 10, 10 at the moment. I mean, this is for colorful decorations, which I feel like there's not really that many people going for the bright, colorful decks. But if you are, take yourself to Paper Chase. It's absolutely lovely in there. m and we've got the most incredible baubles that I will show you. I just think baubles is such a weird, like, baubles. thing to say. It's not baubles, baubles. it's baubles. Baubles. Yeah. Baubles. Baubles. That just feels weird saying that. Baubles. I don't know. I just, it's just a weird, weird word. Anyways, yeah, they had the most, like, stunning ones, which is why we came out to here. Because we actually drove quite far to come to this shop. Well, the mum's just told me this is her local, well. which I find bizarre. Like, I'm never driving half an hour to go to a shop. Not to be fair, though, you actually always, so everyone always moans at me when they come to my house because I never have any food. And the reason being is, is because a lot of the time I am away. And because I live alone, like, I just, the thought of wasting food is my, like, least favourite thing ever. I just, I I don't like wasting food. It just makes you feel really guilty. I don't like it. Yeah, but I'm not and so, for chicken breast. Just have some crisps and stuff. Don't I know, but then I'll also eat it, and I don't want to do that either. So, like, if I have bags of crisps, I will eat bags of crisps. Like, if something's in front of me, guys, oh, I will eat it. Something. I do have bananas. <laughs> I always have bananas in. Yeah, you always have gone yeah, off bananas in the cupboard. I always have gone off bananas in the cupboard. Again, because I haven't eaten it, so then I'm throwing it away. So to be fair, because my mum, I was just about to say, because there's more of you at your house. So you and dad. Yeah. So why did you come <laughs> all this bloody person. way to do a food shop? Because just for like two that people. Tesco. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Super store. I have a Tesco near me, but anyways, we are ready for the Christmas tree. Do you know what we need to actually do? Where's my phone? Don't say that. Oh, it's in my pocket. Oh my god. You know, this happens like four times a day, doesn't it, though? Yeah. That I panic about my phone. I can't get <laughs> out. Well, we was going to go to the range and stuff, weren't we? But I'm bloody knackered. It's oh, like yeah. Hours, isn't it? Oh, that would have been good. Also, I wanted to get like colourful feathers for my tree. Mum said that Amazon do really good colourful feathers. No, I, don't I don't like know that. think. <laughs> Huh? I don't know that. Well, you said that oh, I can no, get I've good colourful feathers well, off yeah. of Amazon. I've got some ostrich feathers. I mean, Amazon has everything, let's be honest. It literally yeah. has it's everything. It's just because it comes next day. So, right? I don't think any shop is just going to sell colourful feathers. So, yeah, I might need to will, order them. find the right shop. But, really? Yeah, Do you think right. the range would? Or even like a craft shop yeah. might even... Okay, well, we'll see how the Christmas tree goes. But we're going to work on some Christmas music now. Aren't we, Mum? Get in the Christmas spirit. And... Uh, Check you later. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's put up the tree. I didn't tell you guys. I don't want to get copyright, but I actually spilled hot chocolate all down myself. I will insert it. So that's change. Guys. Oh my. Here's to the future now. It's only just begun. Do it, do it, do it now. Well, I've got indigestion now because you're rushing me.
Okay guys, I'm gutted. So we put up the tree, but it can't be any taller. It's the right height for my house, but it's just quite skinny. Like I like big full trees and especially because I bought so many bloody decorations and colorful decorations. I just feel like they're just, the trees is not gonna do it any justice, is it? And also it's gonna be a tree that I have forever. And I paid so much money for this tree. So I was expecting it. And I just have a bit more like width. It, yeah, it does, it does not look like the picture at all. It looks amazing through there. Yeah, it does. In the camera, it looks That's really nice. Look like yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I used the camera to take it. It's uh, weird how you can't see it though on there, but it just is. I don't know if it's just because it's in such a big space. Face. I know, I was thinking you know that I mean? as, I, well, as I'm filming it, I'm thinking that because in the camera it looks big, yeah. but in real life it does not. It looks just very like gappy and we pulled out all of the branches as much as we physically can. And look how many decorations we've bought. Look at these I got from M&S. Oh my goodness, I love them. And then these are the other ball balls that I was on about. How unreal are these guys? They are so cute. They're actually stunning. Like, I can't wait to put these on the tree. So obviously this is, well, I don't think I'm gonna be keeping this tree, but um, this is, you can kind of get the image. And they actually have these in blue as well, so I think I might pick up these in blue. And just look how nice the colorful baubles are. I think they're so, I think it's gonna look so good once it's done. And I think once I add like the ostrich feathers as well, it's really gonna make it look lovely. I just want it to be perfect, cause it's my first tree, you know? Oh my goodness, guys, right? I didn't take my vlog camera out with me because I was saying to mom, there's no way we're going to be able to find another tree. We've only gone and done it. We've actually found another tree. Mission and Christmas tree complete. Yes, exactly. Mission Christmas tree complete. And I just want to say that tree is stunning, but the, the price that I paid for it, this tree is a third of the price. It is genuinely a third of the price and it is so much bigger and just nicer. Like that tree is just not giving how much I paid for it. So um, I'm so happy, I'm gonna save money. I could get three of these for the price of that tree um, and it's gonna look better. It has actually got white on it as well though. So it's gonna look a little bit different, but I love it. Can we all celebrate? Woo! It really pretty actually. It's so pretty, but it's a third. Th this one's a third of the price. So I'm gonna go for the one that's a third of the price, guys. Good job, girl. Are you ready to take down the tree, everyone? Are you okay, Mum? Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. Dad, I'm not being funny. Oh, Dad's here. You need to help, please. Oh, not being funny. Oh, Dad's here. Did you not just realise I'm here? <laughs> yeah, but that's on, it's more important. Yeah, he's making sure the football's on, but I said we're putting Christmas music on the other side. Right, come on, guys. Oh, I love putting down the Christmas tree. It's so fun. So, yeah, but he doesn't curve the ball. What do you mean he doesn't curve the ball? That's what I mean. Curve the ball. Curve the ball, though, does he, Mum? I don't know. Did you see that? I didn't see it, Sam. Because I'm wrapping up the bloody tree. Look, see, then he just curved the ball. What are you talking about? Oh, he's just scored. That's what I'm saying. He just Who's curved it. He curved it, then he double backed it. He literally double backed it into the goal. He saw his double back. He curved it. Yeah, he curved it and then double backed it. Just because you've been speaking to a football player doesn't mean you need to talk curving. What do you mean? One down, one in the box. Set on one over here. Here we go again, guys. Round two, here we go. <laughs> Here we go again. This one's so nice because it has like snow on it. So I think it's gonna look so good with the colorful. You haven't just broken it. No, there's kind of snow everywhere. Oh, you're joking. It's all just a bit of a mare today, guys. Everything seems to be going wrong. This is such a Christmas tree fail. But we did get a new tree actually, so I can't complain. <gasps> Trying to be funny and fill over my own feet. <laughs> Update everybody. Um, we have been untangling lights for about an hour. So and that's not even an exaggeration. So we've come out for some food at Pizza Express. And oh my god. And look, you've got Dan look. off. 
Yeah, yeah it looks like we've got dandruff. It's all the bloody snow from the tree. Guys, they have truffle dough balls. Anyone that knows me knows that truffle is my favourite thing in the world. Oh, it's a new obsession of mine. Mum's got some truffle um, marmite. It is so nice, isn't it? Oh, is it not nice? No, oh, I reckon I'd love it. I yeah. honestly, I love Marmite, I love truffle. Yeah, I, love I would probably love no, it. Oh, yeah, but do you love truffle as well? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I love it. I it's, like. it's the most wankiest thing you'll ever try in your life. <laughs> so, for Sarta, Mum and I got this chicken to share. What was this chicken called? Hollow Milanese. Hollow Milanese. And it looks delicious. This is so much nicer than the Like, so much nicer. You can already see how much bigger it is. Wait, the other one was pre-lit. Yeah, yes. The other one was pre-lit, so it's gonna take a while, but oh, that's why it's more. Jingle with me, baby. All of these lights to spare, mum has done. I'm not even gonna take credit for it, my mum has done it. Look how amazing this tree is. We are obsessed. So, so, so happy that we got this tree. Oh God, aren't Especially we mum? for the money as well. This tree, I literally, this is my favorite tree I've ever seen. It's Look, I'm standing up here, I'm covered nice in, the shop, in the snow. It? No, it, it looked nice and well, it looked it a lot nicer in the shop, one, but no. yeah, they had the seven foot one rather than yeah. the eight foot. Look at it. Yay. Look, this is without any decorations. I said to my mum, I'm like, I'm a bit worried about the colorful decorations because it's got white on it. But my mum thinks that's gonna make it look so much nicer. So we shall let you know. I can't even tell you how much I love these bubble balls. Really wish they had more of these at the garden center. Yeah. Look how stunning it looks, guys. Oh my God, obsessed, obsessed. Dad's just watching I'm a step in the back, so if you can hear it, that's what that is. Um, but this is what the tree is looking like. So there is a lot going on. That's what I wanted it to look like. I wanted it to look super colorful, but yeah, it's not finished. There's so much more that we need to add, like the feathers and stuff that I think will just make the world of a difference. Well, there is, there's all the feathers. Okay, yeah, a few more flowers and feathers. But I just don't know if it's too much because of the white on the tree. Like I'm actually unsure that a whether to do this one as the golden white tree and do the upstairs green tree with all the colors. So let me know your opinions down in the comments. My mum likes the white with the color, but I just, I don't know. I don't know if it should just be the green tree with all the color. So let me know your opinions, we'll be amazing.